welcome to the Broken Dead, second episode. Uh, we're, we're left in the car. Clementine and Lee and that other group, dude. Um, oh, have fun and stay tuned for more. Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. Chet was a good dude. Well, Chet is dead. One of the best. Fuck Chet. Retard. Chet's an ass. Thank God you're okay. I was worried to get that here too. No problem. Quiet as usual the past couple days. I reckon down the way things have mares gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and uh, Chet. He got killed. No. Yeah, Chet's dead. You're kidding. No, he's not. Those Chet's really dead. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. <coughs> You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, then. Well... Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. True. Yeah. It's not doing so great. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. What a nice guy. <coughs> <coughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Hurts like him. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Well, I didn't, but that's so rude. That, that it's it's just be Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel Green. My name is it Lee. How did this lying. happen? Uh, uh, I fell. Well, trying to get away from one of those things. That's so. What type of danger has the girl seen? The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. Imagine it now. Pull up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we... Uh, Find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. And what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. It smells like manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Let's be nice around Clem. <coughs> that was just a little girl. Oh, you call her Clem? Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. No, sleep. Epic music. Well, to be honest, I wouldn't hey, sleep on. Get up. Shut up. I wouldn't sleep on the ground with the zombies all around. Just Ugh, itchy. Look at higher up. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm so mean. So bad. mean. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. <laughs> hey, you know, hear the end of it. That's my boy, Moron. Ken Jr. <clears throat> We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? 
The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Hey, let's see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, hard Duck, ass. this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get the to entire family is a retard. What those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah. Mm. Well, you're a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool. Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Let's talk to. Where's my mouth? Oh, there. You. Hey there, girl. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful now, isn't it? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anything. Say more. I want to go home tomorrow. I didn't get my dad to be able to come with me. Sure. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. Me, mm. these past couple of days, I think. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die again, I guess. Back in the bit. Okay, Lee. Okay, let's talk to the douchebag around here. Hello. Guy, I forgot your name. Kenny. Hey there. Kenny? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. What's your plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting <coughs> station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. 
Are you sure there's a set? Don't give a shit. Okay, we talk to them, talk to them. Now we're gonna talk to... them. Hello. Look at the tractor. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <coughs> Son of a how bitch. How you doing, Doc? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Fuck face. Oh, I got... Here it is. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? <coughs> I don't really know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Girl's brains in. Whoa. Uh, I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whoever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? No idea. My brother and parents are in Lake. Hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Yeah, maybe not. <coughs> Probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. The world won't go to shit and stuff. Okay, what are we going to do now? I'm sorry about your friend. Oh. Talk about the friend. Thanks. I appreciate it. Man. No problem. It wasn't really a big anyway, thing. When you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. I don't want to help this son of a bitch. Okay. Let's help that guy. Hello. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I would be standing for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. Do you agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Death, that, that, they're all dead. My parents are <coughs> naked. Well, I hope they're all right. And now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. <laughs> Can I give you a piece of advice? No. Mind your own business. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get the question of yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Oh, and trying to be less of an asshole would serve you just fine. Get my gun. 
Go where? Gotta choose if we gonna uh, save that little kid and I guess be friends with Kenny or the other guy from the Herschel farm. But no, we won't be friends with Kenny. And Kenny is a kind of a redneck, and rednecks are badasses. So. We gotta save the kid. Let's save him. Oh, what do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? Okay. Get there. Get. Get. That sucks. <laughs> What's she doing over there? Get the fuck out of here! I don't have to yell. <clears throat> sorry. Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please. Let's go. Get out! And never come back! <laughs> Lord of the Rings. If anyone remembers, it's Gollum talking to itself. To, to Smeagol. To itself. Fox. You've got that ride to make it if you want. Well, let's go to make it. Loading. <coughs> And that was saving. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you didn't think I made the wrong choice. Um, Thanks for watching and subscribe, leave a like, comment to the video, do whatever you want, yeah, do something, go brush your hair or put up your makeup, anyway, enough talking, um, have fun, have a nice day and leave a like, goodbye.